On April 3rd, the Ames community voted in favor of a $110 million bond referendum for a new high school. And I'm sure many of you are wondering, well, what's been happening? And the answer to that question is quite a lot, actually. OPN Architects was chosen to design the new building with Story Construction serving as the construction manager. And both have been doing a ton of work, but mostly behind the scenes. Since April, OPN has been engaged in what is called the programming phase of construction. This is basically the information gathering process that informs design based on values, goals, and needs. OPN held benchmarking sessions with the school board, high school teachers and administrators, students, and community members. And the feedback received during this time will set the guiding principles for the design moving forward. Putting together a building of this size is like organizing a huge puzzle with a lot of variables to consider. The team at OPN listened to what each group discussed and we're now in the process of laying out the building, but still from a 10,000 foot level. Based on the site analysis, OPN is taking into consideration how traffic will circulate in this area, how the wind flows, topography, local green space and amenities such as the prairie and our stadium, as well as the views of the building, both inward and outward. As we do a block exercise, we are also taking into consideration program adjacencies and how each department's needs factor into the overall equation. Needless to say, there's a lot to consider. The building is being designed with academic spaces able to accommodate 1,600 students, but with the athletic and common spaces available to accommodate 1,800 students. Right now, the overall square footage is being estimated at 406,469 feet. This includes academics, fine arts, competition athletics, a media center, administrative offices, and the pool. Planning for a building of this size is slow work. The next phase will be schematic design, followed by design development, construction documents, and then we will start to get what is called a vertical presence along Ridgewood. OPM put together a great and lengthy programming packet that's currently available on our website. It's important to remember that a lot of the details are still in motion at this point and there's still a lot of things that can change, but this packet is a reflection of where we're at currently on this process. We will continue to keep you informed and updated on the future of Ames High as we continue into the next phases of this project. Thanks.